Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I took these overall pants and turned them into an overall skirt. Stay tuned. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is measure out your skirt length and cut it just maybe a half inch to an inch longer than where you want the skirt to actually be. I'm gonna fold this skirt over on the end. I'm not gonna hem the end, I'm gonna fold it over to make a big cuff. So I'm gonna do mine maybe two inches longer than I'd like it to be. You're gonna start by cutting the inseam of the pants open. Then once you've done that, you're going to cut right up to where the zipper would be if there was a zipper in these pants. This will also work on adult clothing. And you wanna cut up just enough so that it lays flat like this. So you're gonna lay the one pant leg over the other side. And you're gonna do that on the back and the front. This is a super easy tutorial. Then we're going to pin everything down, pinning the one flap on top of the other. Make sure you fold under the raw edges so that you don't have any fraying. I hate fraying. Once you have everything pinned into place, you're just going to stitch it down using your sewing machine, as I've done here. And I'm using Fray Check, which is one of my favorite products for keeping things from fraying. Now I'm going to even out the hemline here or even out the raw edge where I cut. And you can use your serger or a zigzag stitch to keep this from fraying, but since I'm gonna fold it over and make a big cuff, it's not gonna matter too much. Make sure you cut out the excess fabric, fabric on the inside so that the skirt will lay flat and be comfortable. Again, I'm going over that with the fray check just to make sure that it's not going to fray at all anywhere. I'll leave a link in the description box to where you can find this on Amazon. And now I'm going to fold my big cuff I also did a matching set of shorts with the same technique. And this is just some bonus footage. This is how I decorated these overall shorts and overall skirt. I just used a mixture of water and acrylic paint and some tapping motions to add this splatter paint effect. And this is how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video in the comment section below.